The key to reversing prediabetes is to manage the drivers of blood sugar dysfunction, specifically nutrition, exercise, sleep, and stress management. But it can be difficult to track all those factors in a meaningful way to create change until now. Just last week, Dexcom, the makers of one of the best continuous glucose monitors on the market, the Stello, along with Aura, the smart ring that tracks personal metrics on fitness, stress, sleep, and health, announced an integration that will allow users of both products to have a 360 degree view of their health. And I believe that using these two devices together can help you reverse prediabetes by understanding your body's unique responses. This video is going to explain one, how to integrate the Stello CGM data with your Aura app, and two, how to begin to use the integration to better understand the drivers of blood sugar dysfunction. If you already have the integration set up, then use the chapters feature to skip ahead. For those who are new here, I'm Julian Montgomery. I'm board certified in holistic nutrition, and I work exclusively with folks who have prediabetes and other blood sugar issues. And I've been working with clients on this for over a decade. Subscribe to get more tips on reversing prediabetes. Reversing prediabetes isn't just about cutting carbs. It's about balancing the four key pillars of health, nutrition, exercise, sleep, and stress management. By using a Stello continuous glucose monitor, you can easily see how your glucose levels fluctuate throughout the day. And you can probably begin to see the connection between nutrition and glucose. But what about exercise, sleep, and stress? Well, that's where the Aura Ring comes in. The Aura Ring is a sleek wearable that tracks metrics like heart rate and body temperature to build a personalized picture of sleep, stress, and movement. And then you can log exercise and meal data, as well as being able to tag a multitude of other individual factors like if you're traveling, if you're sick, or if you're emotionally exhausted. So when you combine the benefits of the Stello CGM and the Aura Ring, you can quickly see the connection between glucose and all four of those key pillars. To get those benefits, you need to have both a Dexcom Stello CGM and an Aura Ring Gen 3 or 4 with an active membership. If you don't yet have a Stello CGM, check out the link below on how to get one and how to get set up. I also have several other videos on using the Stello CGM, so check out my channel for those. So once you have both of those devices, the first thing to do is to connect the Stello CGM to your Aura app. In the Aura app, when you're on the Today tab, tap on the menu icon in the upper left corner, then tap on Integrations and then Dexcom Stello. It's gonna bring up a screen that directs you to either connect a Stello sensor that you've already applied or to order a sensor. So I'm gonna assume you already have your, st your uh, Stello applied, so you'll tap connect Stello sensor. That's gonna bring up another screen where you should indicate that you've already done this and then hit continue on the next screen. It will bring up a screen for you to log in to your Dexcom Stello account. It'll then bring up an authorization page where you'll scroll down to the bottom and sign your name and then hit authorize. Phew, okay, all that administrative stuff is done now and it confirms that you're connected. So now let's get into the good stuff, using the integration to improve your health. To access the glucose section in the Aura app, just tap on the glucose shortcut at the top while you're on the Today tab. You can also get there from the menu icon or in the Vitals tab. So this brings up your glucose chart with the data synced from your Stello app with time of day on the x-axis. You'll see the ups and downs of your glucose levels throughout the day, and you should know that fluctuations or little spikes in your glucose data are completely normal. What you want to avoid is an excessive spike that goes outside of the recommended range of 70 to 140 milligrams per deciliter. Logging meals and adding tags in Aura can help you better understand the fluctuations and what causes them. So let's first get a general understanding of what's happening on this screen. 
So you see your chart and you can use your finger to move left or right on the chart to see the different glucose levels at the top of the chart, along with the specific time of each value. Now, just below the chart, you can choose what other data you want shown as an overlay on the chart. So you can tap meals if you want to show each meal you've logged. You can do the same with daily movement, tags and activities, and stress. Just below that is the time above range area, and it explains what is shown there. Basically, a longer term view of your glucose stability for the day. It's a visual representation of how long your glucose level was above the suggested maximum of 140 milligrams per deciliter. It takes into account all the factors from the day and assigns a rating of optimal to elevated. And then down below that area is a guidance and tips section that provides some helpful personalized suggestions and even little articles on the factors that impact glucose levels. So it's, it's worth checking out those areas. Let's go back up to the glucose chart and go a little bit deeper there. So I'm going to tap on all the overlays so that it shows them on the chart. And then let's walk through the timeline of my particular day here so that you can see how each of these factors impacts my glucose levels. Now, keep in mind that you need to be entering data on meals, activities, and any other tags for them to show up on the timeline. So starting at the beginning of the graph on that day, you can see that Aura automatically overlays the time that I was asleep as indicated by the blue shading. I woke up at 6.50 a.m. that morning and my glucose was at 90 milligrams per deciliter. So pretty good and definitely in the normal range. Now, if I had noticed a really excessive glucose spike right around when I woke up, then I could exit this area and go into the sleep area of Aura for that day to see if there are any clues as to why the spike occurred. For example, I could look at my overall sleep quantity or particularly my deep sleep quantity since a deficiency in deep sleep is known to impact glucose levels. So I continue along my timeline until I see some of the events on the timeline. I first see where Aura indicated stress at 8.35 a.m but it doesn't look like it affected my glucose line, so I continue along. I then see my breakfast meal that I had logged, which was beef, sausage, and an orange. And right after that, I see a big spike. Now, the spike went right to the edge of the suggested range. In fact, a little bit over since it lists the value at 144 milligrams per deciliter. Now, here's where I can dive a little deeper. If I tap on the meal details below the graph, it brings up more information about my meal. And when I tap the down arrow just below the advisor info, I can see a nutrition breakdown of my meal. I see that protein was moderate, fats were high, and total carbs were also moderate. So this helps explain a little as to how I developed that big spike. Now, ideally, I would like to see more info here on the amount of carbohydrates, since that is a key driver of glucose. That's something maybe Aura will continue to develop in the future. In any case, the nutrition info they provide is better than nothing. So I go back to my timeline and I see that the spike quickly goes down at about 9.30 a.m., right at the time that I've logged walking and I also tagged that it was outdoors. So that tells me that even though I experienced a pretty big spike, it seems that maybe the activity afterwards helped normalize my glucose level. I then continue on with my day and I see a stress indicator at 10.40 a.m. But again, no major effect to my glucose level. I then see my lunch icon at about 11.45 a.m., which was a tuna salad, and I see just a minor spike right after that. Nothing to be concerned about. And if I wanted clarification there, I can again look at the details of the tuna salad and see that protein and fats were high and total carbs were low, which confirms why I didn't see much of a spike. At 1.40 p.m., I had an apple as a snack, and I see a little bit more upward movement of glucose. Again, not outside of the suggested range, but I can certainly see how the apple brought things up a bit. My day then progresses, and the next major event on my timeline is dinner, where I see again a slight increase in my glucose level in the hour following dinner. And here on the graph, I, you can then see something interesting. You can see two bumps in my glucose level. The first is from dinner, but then there's a decrease and then another bump up, and I quickly see the cause. 
I had a snack of strawberries after dinner. And that little snack on its own pushed my glucose up a second time for the evening. Something I could do in the future is to make sure I have the strawberries at dinner time and then see if combining that with the protein and other macros could keep the glucose increase to just one peak rather than two, which would be better. So the day wraps up and I can see I went to sleep around 10, 20 p.m. So walking through that timeline provided a lot of information for me. I saw one, how meals directly affected my glucose levels, two, how exercise may have helped to quickly bring down a spike, and three, how the timing of a snack caused a small double spike in glucose. And that's just one day and looking primarily at meals and a little activity. If you're logging exercise each day or tagging things like back pain or an illness or intermittent fasting, you'll be able to see each of those in relation to your glucose levels. Also, if you're prone to stress, the Aura Ring will capture that and you can see the effect on glucose levels. So this really becomes a powerful tool for putting together your own personal causes and effects of glucose activity. I personally like to use the integration of Stello and Aura to do a quick review each morning of the previous day's activities to see where there's an opportunity to make improvements because what you can see, you can begin to change. So in summary, when you pair the Aura Ring with the Stello CGM, you unlock a comprehensive view of your health. You get meal impact analysis, sleep and glucose correlation, activity influence, and stress responses. This integration helps you identify patterns and make targeted changes to improve your metabolic health in a way that either of these devices on their own cannot do. Overall, I think the integration is a solid benefit to those people who really want to understand the causes of glucose dysfunction. Now, if you want to dive deeper into the detailed components of your diet and how those impact your glucose levels, then check out my video on the integration of Stello and Chronometer. It's right there. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe so that more people can see this info. I'll see you next time.